Hey guys, Woody Valley Wani Light 2. So this is another reversible airbag harness with integrated back protection, integrated reserve, um, similar to the Super Alti Randa Light. Uh, Skywalk Breeze is in that category, Advanced Easiness 3. If you like to get your kit really compact and have still have some back protection, but have a very small harness. That's what you'd be looking for when you're going for this class of harness. This bag in the, in the backpack mode, has got a, a pretty good volume, a big volume there. And it's got a clever system where it's clicking down the cover, which just tidies it up. So the harness is sort of tidied away and gives you a nice space to put your paraglider in on top. There's a bit of a, a void down the bottom here, um, which I would pack your jacket or something, it's not something bulky, just to get rid of this sort of void. And then you've got a reasonably flat space to put your paraglider in. Um, as far as reversible airbag harnesses go, that's, it's a pretty good shape. It's, it's pretty well designed that way. My reserve is here. I've got a pretty big reserve in here. Just did that to test the system. Um, so it goes up to 120 kilos and uh, seems to fit in no problem. So we're reversing the bag out there. You've got a bit of wire stiffening. You've got your airbag intake there. And you've got a little vent here, which probably just helps keep the shape of this airbag so that the air is flowing in and it's got somewhere to come out. It seemed to fill up just with me standing around. So I'm gonna fold the back away here. You got your very plush, well padded carrying system for the backpack. And you've got a very nice thick waist strap with zip pockets on both sides, left and right. Um, I would note that this comes around your hip on the sharp point of your hip. So it's no good for putting your smartphone in because you're gonna crack the screen. But the smaller items that can be moved around are better suited for that pocket. And uh, yeah, otherwise a very deep water bottle pocket on the side, another pocket on the side there. Maybe you can put your hiking sticks in there. And then you've got these click straps, which you could use to neaten that up a bit. For these reversibles, you don't really have much to pack in the back because your backpack is inside and then everything else you're wearing. So this is more than enough space. I mean, this has got a lot of volume in here. If you're wanting to pack other things, this back area is not connected to the airbag. So it doesn't matter where you pack things. You can just stuff things in and fill that up. More than enough space for, I don't know, if you're doing a full boob adventure or something. Right. You got zip pockets on either side. That's a plus. Nice big area there. Same on this side. So it's probably the best in terms of storage that I've seen in this class. You've got a tidy little reserve handle here. It's kept in just 
pinched in under the fabric on either side. It's got a little bit of Velcro at the back and you've got two pins. That pulls out pretty easily. I've done some test deployments, no problem. And you've got a Bombay door that opens this way and that way with the zips. Very good. You've got a nice little stand-up speed bar system, comes integrated. So that's going to be very easy to get with your legs. Um, coming around to a pulley, I would say that little pulley, it's okay, but it could have gone for a higher spec pulley there. It's quite adequate. Got a seat board that's made out of that uh, sort of a plastic like uh, cardboard, um, that honeycomb, plastic honeycomb. It's light, feels sturdy enough. And you've got a bit of neoprene coating on the leg straps to just make it a little bit more comfortable. Otherwise, straps in all the right places. These uh, adjustment straps are a bit difficult to work with. Um, you can't adjust this in the air. You've got to set this up in your hanging system and work the webbing through. It's designed that way so it won't slip once you've got the adjustments correct. Same on the sides here. You have got a little pull tab to release it. That one you can adjust. So the sides you can adjust. So yeah, it's just got to find the right angle to pull on this. And you can quite easily adjust the shoulders. So shoulders and lateral, you can adjust this one at the bottom, which raises and lowers the sort of carabiner height. And that strap goes under to the edge of your seat board. That one you need to adjust in a simulator. So I'm gonna pop my little handbag away. All my camera gear. I've got a, a little Skywalk mini wing to play with because it's pretty windy. That too can go in the voluminous back storage area. Along with pole, which we won't need. Let's cover that over so it doesn't poke. Righty ho. On with the show. That was great to fly in. Felt very nice. It was a very responsive harness. Um, it gives the maximum feedback, uh, particularly in roll, of what the air is doing. So if you're wanting to get more feeling and feedback from your wing, uh, the one e Light 2 is a good option. Um, it does tip around quite a bit in thermic conditions so if you're unsettled by that you might want something with a little bit more um, stability or dampening certainly very low dampening in this but some pilots will like that because of the freedom of movement um, you've got uh, a classic seat board feeling um, your weight transfer is immediate and you can tweak the butt cheek and get that quick turn, the quiet, the, the hook tight turn if you need it. 
um, it does uh, reach a certain point where it'll give you more stability and it'll tighten up a bit, uh, but it didn't feel restrictive at all. So I'd say it's the most unrestricted harness in terms of roll freedom in the class. Out of the harnesses in this class, this has got by far the most roll uh, freedom. Um, it means it's giving you a lot of feedback about every little bit of lift, which is quite good for light conditions. Uh, but beginners might find it a little bit uh, overwhelming just in terms of the amount of feedback. It's a little tiffy, put it that way. Um, you see the least amount of dampening out of all the harnesses that I've tried. And it's the same as the uh, GTO Lite. It gives you that roll, roll, roll up to a point. Um, it's got more freedom for turning, but it's certainly uh, at this angle here, it's supporting you. But in the in-between, there's quite a lot of roll feedback. Quite a lot of movement there. It's not unsettling, but there's definitely a lot of movement you've got to be aware of. I felt uh, it was very stable in pitch. Uh, it was a very nice, comfortable position. It didn't move and it's kept me in a semi-upright position, but in a comfortable place that was easy to fly in and it didn't move around much. Yours very stable. So overall, very comfortable in the air. Uh, my back, very comfortable. I feel nicely supported in a fairly upright position, but not super upright. It's about ideal and I feel like the straps have got enough adjustment. Uh, I've left my chest strap as wide as possible. Um, I'm, there's a bit of movement uh, across the seat board, so it's not exactly snug. It's a bit of freedom there, but that means there's a bit of space for uh, more generously proportioned pilots. Well, my usual criticism of these um, reversible harness bags is that the bag doesn't feel comfy. This is great. I don't feel the reserve pushing out and I feel really nice, comfy. There's a fair amount of competition in this space. The reversible airbag harness for hike and fly. The 1E2 light does it very well. Super comfy, quite plush actually. Lovely finishes, very comfy in the air. Classic seat board feeling in the air. And uh, yeah, a lot of space in the back. More than enough for your wing and your bits and bobs. I've actually got my helmet inside, along with a very big winter jacket. Yeah, it's actually winter. <laughs> and my helmet. And I did a fast pack of my glider. Now, my glider is a lightweight uh, XL3. So your wing's probably gonna take up a bit more space than this. But that's just to show you that I could just do a fast pack with the glider tossed in and you've got all that volume inside. Very tidy. These little push-through buckles, I found these are the soft cornered, easy style, easy to do. I had no problems with those. The only thing I found lacking is somewhere to put your instruments. Um, I wish they'd done something like the uh, Skywalk Breeze with a little cockpit option in the front where you could put your instrument or your phone on top. Apart from that, a very well thought out, complete and beautiful design.
overall, it's my favorite reversible harness backpack airbag system. It seems effective, the airbag's good, the volume in the back is good, uh, it looks great, it carries great, it's comfortable in the air, and lots of feedback from the harness, and reserves in a good position. So all around really good for pilots that want maximum feedback from the harness. They want an unrestricted feeling and still want to keep their kit really light, have some airbag protection and have a volume enough that with a light wing, you could do a Volbev adventure just with the bag on its own. It's a compact, attractive and durable design that is great for adventuring and traveling.